Wow, guys. So it's the same day as the previous video, but I had to split it up into two because I stumbled across a deal on a crap load of die cast cars that the deal's too good to turn down and it should be a lot of money. Wait till you see what I pick up. Hopefully the deal goes down. I'm driving now um, to pick up everything and hopefully uh, he does the trade with me. my way I'll be there in like 10 minutes I'm on the road and the guy uh, has been a collector of die cast for a while and he apparently is ready to like move to Alaska or something crazy he says and he stopped um, collecting his die cast and he says now he's into guns and I happen to have a gun that I've had in my storage for a while and he wants to trade me the gun for his pile of die cast. And it, all die cast are not worth the same, but the ones that he has are worth a lot of money. And I'll show some of the comps on the screen. but it's called Action Elite. And they're all in the box with the paperwork and like the dust cover, protective bags and all that type of stuff. So, I mean, I'm not a big fan of like NASCAR or anything like that and I don't know much but I did run the comps on these cars and if even if they average at $50 each, which is on the very, very, very low end, um, he's got like 20 to 30 cars and if it's $50 a car, then that's $1,000. So the trade is worth it for me. Um, Let's see what happens. I'll, I'm not sure if you'll let me record. I'll try to record so you can see everything that goes down. But if not, I'll show you the haul afterwards. Wish me luck, guys. guys so the trade happened I got 32 cars action elite and I'd ran some comps on a couple of them when I was doing the trade and everything else and these are legit collectible cars 
I uh, didn't film when I was in there because uh, the guy has, gosh, I don't know. I don't want to say redneck, but man, he uh, he must have had like 20 guns in this room that I was in. And I didn't really want to mess around with filming when the guy has all these guns sitting around. So I might have raised a red flag to him. Like, hey, why are you recording in this room when I got all this shit laying around? So... Um, just gonna drive home. I got it all in this big ass box right here and I'm gonna lay them all out so you can see exactly the scope of what I just got and then I'll try to show some of the comps so you'll get an idea of what kind of money we're talking about. Here's the collection. All of them come in their boxes. 124 scale. That's not it. Oh, keeps going. Here's some more. That's all she wrote. 33 cars. All right, so I've been busting my rear getting some of these listings on these NASCAR things done and looking them up at the same time, running the comps, etc. So I can kind of give you all an idea of the scope of the deal and how much I'm going to make, etc. So I've gone, when I've done my listings, I've looked at the comps and I've kind of uh, reduced the price that I'm going to ask by like 10 bucks, something like that, so I can kind of sell it quicker than sit on it for whatever, however long. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to turn uh, the profit as quickly as possible. So um, I put comps at the, the on the cars uh, a little bit less than what I could probably get if I were to sit on them for six months. But so far, I've listed here. I'll show you what I've listed and what I still got to go, and I'm doing pretty good so far. All right, so all these with post-it notes are ones that I've listed, and you'll see, like that one has a comp of 175, all these have comps of 100, 80 bucks, 50 bucks, a 40, a 40, some 30s. So right there is $1,020 in comps, and then, Hey Zoe, you want to say hi? No, oh, she gave me the side eye there. These are still not listed. So I got 1,020 in comps already listed and then I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20 cars still to go. So I've only done 13 cars. So, so far so good. I'll keep going and then I'll kind of do another tally for you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I tried to get as much done last night as I could. I ended up doing 20 cars out of the 33 for a total of $1,290 and I still have 13 cars to go. Uh, it turns out I would say the average price per car is gonna be around 50 bucks, 40 and 50, something like that. So even with 33 cars, I'm thinking around 15, 1600. It wasn't as good as I would have liked. I thought it was gonna be like in multiple thousands, but I'll still take it. Still a really good deal. I'll make a profit over a thousand dollars, so I cannot complain. I did wanna show you, I did have a throw in of a vintage t-shirt in the deal that I wanted to kind of uh, show you as well as um, give you some tips and tricks on how to measure them. If you ever decide to sell them online through eBay, you'll have to know these measurements so you can put in your listing uh, and avoid all the questions that people will ask. 
All right, so this is a vintage, it's called an all over. And the reason why it's all over is it goes from top to bottom, obviously, it even has the sleeves. And then on the back, it's fully covered on the back too. Uh, so the, the tag, it's good that the tag is there. Unfortunately for me, it's a medium. Most people like larges or extra larges. And when you're measuring a shirt, the three most important parts are from this shoulder to show, I mean, I'm sorry, ignore what I just said. This is pit to pit, and this is shoulder seam to shoulder seam, and then length is from top to bottom. And so you'll take, you'll measure from right here, the top of this collar, not, not down here, but from up here, all the way down to where this touches. So I've already kind of measured, but I'll kind of show you. All right, so I got my tape measure out. All right, so see how I got it extended from the pit to, so that one will be 20 inches. And then the shoulder is usually like an inch uh, more. So this is gonna be like 21 on the shoulder. So 21, 20 on the pits, 21 on the shoulder, and then the length. All right, sorry about that. If I go from that tip down, so I'll say 28. So 20, 21, 28, and then I put that in the measurements, and then people that deal with shirts and um, you know, need to know the measurements for their own use. Well, it took me two days of listing. I did 20 cars one night and the remaining 13 cars the other night, and I am finally done. So now, uh, here's the numbers in case y'all are curious. There are 33 total cars, and the total comps that I listed on eBay and everything came out to $1,805. A little bit less than I was hoping. Um, I was hoping for more, obviously, but it's still a good profit. I'm not gonna complain about it. So basically, I'm invested about close to $500 to um, get 1,800 in sales. It could be uh, a little bit less, but still, um, that's a good profit of 13, between 12 and $1,300. And the average car price is about $54 for each car on comps. So that's about all I got. So if anybody watching this happens to be a NASCAR collector and you saw some cars that you liked in the video, if they're still on my eBay store, feel free to drop me a line, drop me an offer. Uh, maybe I'll give you a deal and pay for some of the shipping, etc. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.